Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Lights.
Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. A very good morning to you and welcome to the Covenant Light. Hallelujah. I celebrate every one of you who has joined in this morning. Hallelujah. And I also celebrate every one of you um, who was part of the 70 days of restoration. Hallelujah. Even though the 70 days of restorations, uh, restoration is over, we are still in the season of restoration. And I believe that God is still working. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This morning, we are going to be spending time praying. But before we do that, um, I just want to read us a scripture. Today, we're going to be spending time praying about God's purpose for our lives. Um, that is what we have dedicated Mondays for, to pray concerning um, what God has called us to do, to pray concerning what God is doing. Hallelujah. The book of John chapter 5. John chapter 5, verse 19. I'll read from verse 19. I'm reading the voice translation. It says the truth is that the son does not, the son does nothing on his own. All these actions are led by the father. The son watches the father closely and then mimics the work of the father. The father loves the son, so he does not hide his actions. Instead, he shows him everything and the things not and the things not yet revealed by the father will dumbfound you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You see, this was the statement of Jesus. And the Bible says that Jesus was actually talking to his critics. He said to them, the truth is that Whatever you see me doing is not of my own accord. Whatever you see me doing is what I see my father doing. And I just simply mimic. I just simply repeat and copy what my father is doing. And so if you want to know what the father is doing, just simply look at my life and you will see and know what the father is doing. And, um, like I said, this was the statement that was made by Jesus um, to his critics. They came to him and they began to question his works. They began to question his motive. They began to question what he was doing and who he claimed to be. And the Bible says that, in fact, in, in verse 17, um, Jesus said to them, he said that my father is at work. So I too am working. And so whatever you see me doing is just a repetition, is just a reflection of what my father is doing. And I believe that the father is still working in this time and age. God has not stopped working because he said that the harvest is ripe. The harvest is ready. And he said, pray that the Lord of the harvest will trust people, will trust laborers into this great harvest. He said, pray that the Lord of sub, the Lord of harvest will trust people into his harvest. And that is why this morning, I believe that God is still working, working in our cities, working in our nations, working in the continents and working on the earth. And like Jesus said, he said that whatever I see my father do, that I do also. And that means that God has not called you and I to be spectators in what he's doing. God has not called you and I to, to the watch stand, to watch what he's doing and simply applaud. But God has called you and I to be co-laborers in what he is doing. God has called you and I to be walkers to be um to be partners in what he's doing on the earth paul talking to the corinthian church in describing um the the church the function of the church said that the the, the church is the body of christ and he said that this body is made of different parts just like the human body 
that are, the body of Christ is made of different parts and that each part has its own unique and significant function. And that means that whatever part, whatever place you occupy in the body of Christ, you have a significant and a relevant place, a relevant part to play in what the head, Jesus, the body, the head of the church is doing. Hallelujah. And you and I know that wherever the head controls the body, um, it is said that when the brain becomes dead, certain parts of your body cannot function effectively. And that means that the ultimate um, control power, the control power of the body is the head. And that means that whatever God is doing, whatever Jesus is doing in this time and age is what is expected of his body. With, with it, whichever direction the body is, the head is moving is the same direction that the body is expected to move in. And that shows that every member of the body of Christ has a part to play in what God is doing. If you have ever doubted if God has a purpose for your life this morning, and I'm here to assure you, to reassure you that God has a plan for your life and that you and I occupy a vital and a significant part of the body of Christ and in what God is doing in this time and in this age. Listen to me, brothers and sisters, God is working. God is, it's obvious that the earth is wrapping up and there is an urgency in the heart of God. There is an urgency in the heart, in the womb of the spirit. The labor pangs is heavy and strong and God wants to bring forth, God wants to bring forth his agenda in its full manifestation. Glory to God. You know, somebody once um, asked me, the, uh, the person said that, wouldn't it be unfair if Jesus comes and then someone who has never heard about the gospel goes to hell because he or she was never given the opportunity to make that decision. And I said to the person, I said, Jesus himself said that he's not coming back until this gospel has reached the, the whole earth, until everyone, every living soul has been given the opportunity to decide for God, until every man has been given that opportunity to hear the gospel. And if you and I want to be out of this place as fast as possible, you and I must become um, active and catch on to the urgency in the heart of God to extend the kingdom to the uttermost part of the earth. And God is calling on you and I today. God is calling on us to be part of what he is doing. God is calling you and I to find our place and begin to co-labor with God in what he is doing. Glory to God. And this morning, I just want us to just yield to God. You may not fully understand what God is doing right now, but as long as you are saying to God that whatever you are doing in this time and season, Lord, I choose to be a co-laborer with you. And when you make that decision, when you take that position, when you take that position of consecration to what God is doing, God will graft you. Hallelujah. You see, when we talk about this great army that is arising, it's not um, a, a forced recruitment, but a recruitment of consecration. Where you are saying, God, I, I choose to be part of what you're doing. I choose to be part of this great army. The Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen. The selection of the chosen is not by God. The selection of the chosen is by men who were called and said yes to the calling. The, the selection of the chosen is by men 
who said, God, I hear you calling and I say yes to your call. I say yes to what you're doing. I say yes to be part of what you're doing in my time and in the season in the name of Jesus. And so this morning, I wanted to rise wherever we are and just consecrate ourselves to God. The Bible says that the things that our eye have not seen, the things that ears have not heard, the things that have not entered into the heart of men are the things that God has prepared for those who love him. And that means that there is a prepared part. There is a prepared place in, in this time and in this season. Hallelujah. Oh, shatale brade baliato sakatala bahaya lamande la bo sakataya. Rasa barade baloso de la dendo ruskatale brata kayaga da bahaya. Oh, come and say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I know you are working in this time and in this season. And Lord, I am a son of discernment. And therefore, I discern what you are doing in this time and this season. Lord, I discern your move in this time and in this season in the name of Jesus. And Lord, today I consecrate myself to what you are doing. Lord, I take my part. I take my place in what you are doing in the name of Jesus. Lord, show me my part and help me to take my position, oh God, in what you are doing in the name of Jesus. Rete kele baruzo kale paro shande le baruza kataya le paraze ke ando rubo shata le barane maliandra bahaya le paraze ke te kaliandra bahaya raka shande marande kaluzo varate ke andra bahaya o le barusha tale barata kasha dala bahaya ele mazuka le baruzo katale mashande le bahaya raka taka taka le bazo karama de kaliandra bahaya ela paro Lord, awaken our souls. Lord, awaken our hearts to what you are doing in the name of Jesus. Lord, stir up that urgency in our hearts. Lord, help our hearts to catch the urgency that is in your heart, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. O le paruzo katele mashande le bahaya rekali andara bahaya ele paruzo katele bashande le bahaya mazale paruzo katale maza katale mashande ele marate kali andoro boko sakatale anda ele paruzo kataki andara bahaya rata kata kale baruzo katali andara bahaya ele paruzo katele bashande le bahaya lord awaken us to the consciousness that we are here on purpose that we are here on a mission in the name of Jesus marase kali parase katakali abradosha ena male paruzo kataki andara bahaya eleza de la bashande le bahaya rakatakale bosha dala mandele bosha kataya ratakatakali barane mali andoro bosha kataya reteke yege de baruzo kataya mashande baruzo bateya rakatakatake rada barusa kataya ele paruzo katali Andara bahaya, mazabarate ke angoruzo katele bashade la baruzo kataya, le paruzo katale barata kayege de bosha, el la baruzo katakali andara bahaya, el le parata kande de bosha, el le paruzo katali andara bahaya. Rekele boso katalia, rata kata katele basha tali andara bahaya. Lord, help us find our place in what you are doing. Lord, help us find our place in your agenda in this time and in this season. Lord, help us find our place in what you are doing in this decade, O oh God. Masale paruzo katali parane kandela bahaya. And Lord, as we find our place, Lord, help us take 
take our place in the name of Jesus. Elefaruzo kataki andara bahaya reteke yego loso tele ne sultali prakata kata kataya. Oh shandele bahaso labarabale elefaruzo kotole bashandele bahaya rata kata kateke la mashatalia elefaruzo katele bashandele bahaya. Oh shata le paruzo kate kakandele bahaya. Oh reteke ya do shada bahaya elefaruzo kate le bashandele bahaya. Ele paruzo kotele bashande le bahaya. E masakata kora zikataya. Lord, your word says that a wise son does not sleep in the time of harvest. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we know that we are in the decade of harvest. We know that we are in the generation of the great harvest. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we say that we are wise sons who do not sleep in the time of harvest. In the name of Jesus, Marazakatele Bashande Labrakatakia Dorobokosaka but Lord we declare today that we are sons who are co-laborers with you we are co-laborers with the father co-laborers in what you are doing oh God in the name of Jesus for we are not a people that covered our own agenda we do not cover our own purpose we do not cover our own works but we see what you are doing and we align ourselves with the workings of the spirit we align ourselves with what you are doing oh God and we take our place as sons Baruza Kataya, Marata Katele Bashale Brande Le Kale Kaluza Kataya, O Shandele Bahaya. Rekele barata kataki andosa, ene mala barata kateke la bahaya, mala paruzo kotele bashade la barande, ene zakor de keli anfradosa kataya, enda zanda bar ne kale varuzo sale varade kalia. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us not to cling so tightly to our comfort zone. Ele sa paraza katale barata kasha kataya, ela marudo kase ketele masakaru. Lord, help us not to cling so tightly to the things, oh God, that we hold to heart, but that heaven doesn't hold to heart. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let our highest desire and passion, Lord, be the things that matter to heaven, be the things that matter to the Father. In the name of Jesus, Ali Barusha, Ele Baruso Kotole Barata Kaya, Ele Paruso Katali Andra Bahaya, Ele Paruso Katale Parase Kete Le Bahaya, Lord, to as many of us that you are calling to be part of what you are doing in the name of Jesus we declare that we hear what the spirit is saying we see what the spirit is doing come and say after me my ears are opened and I hear what the spirit is saying in the name of Jesus my eyes are open Opened, and I see what the Spirit is doing in the name of Jesus. My hands are strengthened. And I put my hand to work in what the Father is doing in the name of Jesus. Metakarata 
Maharata Kale Baruzo Kataya, Ele Parashada La Barusa, Etekia Kadlika, Ele Baruzo Kataliata, Ele Bashan de Le Bahaya, Marata Kataka Le Baruso Kotoke La Baratakaya, E Baruzo Tale Bashataya, Ela Paruzo Kata 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 Kata, E Mali Andorobo Sakatalia, Ele Paruso Kote Le Bashan de La Paruzo Kata, Ela Parasa Kataka Le Barusa Kataya. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as many people that you have called to take their place on the mountains of influence and the systems of the world, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, open our eyes to see ourselves as representatives of the kingdom in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we may stand and speak as oracles of God, that we may stand, that we may take our places as priests and prophets of the Most High God, as spokesmen of God, in the name of Jesus, Mazaparasa Kataya, for the things that we hear in the secret place, we stand upon the mountains of influence, and we declare in the name of Jesus, Arase Patakale Paruzo Kataya, Ele Paruzo Katalianta Sakataya, Ele Paruzo Kataya, Lord, we hear the cry of the Spirit to arise and shine. We hear the cry of the Spirit to arise and shine. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we arise. We take our position and we shine. We take our position and we shine. For la se farado corre de galiatra bahaya. Rekele barata kaya, rete kasata le paruzo kataliandra bahaya, el le paruzo kataka liandra bahaya, mesa paruzo kotora da bahaya, rasa katake andoroboko sakataya, mashande varuzo kateleba, arata kale paruzo kataliandra bahaya, el le paruzo kote le barianta kasila bahaya. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we know that to arise and shine is not just a divine divine instruction but lord we know that it is uh, the intense cry of the spirit that we arise as sons uh, that we take our positions as sons uh, and that we take our positions as sons of light uh, and we shine uh, we radiate the glory of the father kale paruzo katalia mbraka shakataya ele paruzo katele bashandele bahaya that lord in the name of jesus uh, that we we extend our light uh, to the dark corners of the earth in the name of Jesus kale paruzo katele bashata liandra bahaya ele paruzo katalia to those places to those regions that men dread to tread on lord that we would take our positions as sons of authority that lord we will shine our lights lord fearlessly in the name of Jesus that men may come to the knowledge of Christ that men and may come to the knowledge of Christ in the name of Jesus ele karuza katali andra bahaya rekatsatele baso tali andra bahaya rekatekelia barosa kataya ele paruso katale pashatali andra bahaya ele paruso katele bashande ele paruso katali andra bahaya ele paruso kale kasole zadila shandele bahaya Oh, sala barata kale baruzo kataya. Ena mazabarata kale paruzo katele bashakaya. Ene mazala prada gashada la bahaya. Ele zekatole barante ki anduruku sakatale barataya. Rashatale baruza katale bahantaya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Father is working. And God will give every man, every woman the opportunity to hear this great gospel. And so this morning, there's a prayer rising in my heart. And that is, Lord, make me someone's opportunity to hear the gospel. Let my life be someone's opportunity to hear the gospel. Come on, pray that prayer this morning. 
that someone who has never heard the gospel, that God will direct, orchestrate your steps, that you will be that person's opportunity to hear this great gospel. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. And we consecrate ourselves to you this morning. Lord, we know that we can go on and on. For Lord, we know the urgency in your heart. And Father, we just pray, oh God, that you will help us see it. That you will help us catch it. That the same way it's an urgency in your heart. Lord, may it become an urgency in our hearts. That we may rise up to the purpose for which you have placed us here on earth. And that, Lord, we may fulfill your plans, your agenda, and that we may be part of what you are doing in this decade and in this generation. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and we just honor you, God. And Father, we consecrate our week to you and we declare, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that all through this week, Events align with your purpose for us. That all through this week, your grace, your favor, your mercy that speak for us in places that matter in the name of Jesus. And we declare that all through this week, Father, we thank you for your hand upon us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you the praise for in Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you so much for being a part of today's covenant light. Hallelujah. You know, we're back to the covenant light, uh, daily devotion of just 30 minutes. I'm sure some of you are wondering why it was so short. Hallelujah. I wish we could go on, but we said it's just going to be for 30 minutes. And so I want to celebrate once again, every one of you joined in this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And do have a wonderful day in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.